Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been accused of worming their way into elite circles with their latest Netflix series. After their documentary series Harry and Meghan debuted on the streaming giant, the Sussex Royals announced their latest series, Live to Lead. In the show, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex discuss and interview leaders, including late Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, climate activist Greta Thunberg and feminist activist Gloria Steinem, who fight for change. Harry said the project, premiering Deck 31, was inspired by Nelson Mandela, South Africa's first black president. What counts in life is not the mere fact that we have lived, Harry and Meghan say, quoting Mandela. It is what difference we have made to the lives of others that will determine the significance of the life we lead. Harry and Meghan documentary judged less accurate than The Crown in damning new poll the latest season of The Crown and The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's docu-series both aired on Netflix in the past two months. Although Harry and Meghan is promoted as a factual documentary, and The Crown a work of fiction based off of real events, a new poll has revealed the public believes the series to be more inaccurate than The Crown. Find out more here. However, Kenzie Schofield, host of the Today for podcast, told Fox News Digital that the Sussex Royals discussing leadership is like Rachel Dolezal teaching us about honesty. She said, Reminder, Harry is only given a platform because of his DNA and Meghan only has these opportunities because of her husband's DNA. They are not in the same league as Greta Thunberg or Nelson Mandela. Harry and Meghan know that you are who you associate with. Dash which is why they cling to their royal titles and create content like this so they can try to worm their way into these elite circles. The trailer for the series includes an interview with Justice Ginsburg, the liberal leader of the Supreme Court who died in 2020 at 87. At every turn in my life, I thought, do I really want this? And if the answer's yes, you find a way, Ginsburg tells the camera. It's about people who have made brave choices, Harry said of the series giving inspiration to the rest of us to live, to lead. The series was produced by Blackwell and Ruth, who was Mandela's publisher, along with Harry and Meghan's Archul Productions and the Nelson Mandela Foundation. King Charles' tactical response to Sussex's criticism family dog hailed a hero after protecting children lost in the woods cow missing for four months found on golf course Meanwhile, Harry's memoir Spare will be released on January 10, and the royal is set to promote it in an interview with ITV's Tom Bradby. Mr Bradby who presents the ITV News at 10, got to know Prince William and Harry when he was a royal correspondent in the 1990s. In an interview with Meghan in 2019, he asked the Duchess about her mental health, to which she replied, Look any woman when they're, especially when they're pregnant, you're really vulnerable and you add this on top of just trying to be a new mom or trying to be a newlywed it's. Yeah well I guess and thank you for asking because not many people have asked if I'm okay, but it's a very real thing to be going through behind the scenes. In Harry and Meghan, the Duchess said the interview with Mr. Bradby marked a turning point as she claimed she got the opposite of support after it was screened.